Hey guys, Captain Tech here, and today we're going to be running some benchmarks on the brand new 2012 MacBook Air with 8GB of RAM and an i5 processor. So let's get started. We're going to start off with Geekbench. And as you can see, it is a 13 inch two, mid 2012 MacBook Air with an i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of 16, 1600 megahertz RAM. So we're gonna choose the Intel 64 bit test and we're gonna run the benchmark and I'm not gonna make you watch the whole benchmark so I'm gonna try to cut to the end of it. And as you can see, we get a score of 6,648. And I took another benchmark without the screen recorder, and that gave me a slightly higher score of 6,733. And that's really what you'll normally see from normal conditions. So next up is Cinebench. We're going to be running the OpenGL test as well as the CPU test. So let's get started with the OpenGL. This pretty much just tests your graphical performance. So evidently the new Ivy Bridge chipsets by Intel have 60% better graphical performance than the outgoing Sandy Bridge processors that were in the 2011 MacBook Air. Okay, so that finished. Next, we're gonna run a CPU test. So the way this test works is, the CPU tries to render a really, really high resolution picture, and the faster it can render it, the higher the CPU score. Once again, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole benchmark, that would be kind of boring, so we're gonna cut to the end. And as you can see, I got a 15.72 frames per second score for my OpenGL and a 2.52 score for my CPU. So I ran this test again without my video recorder and I got a score of 17.4 frames per second on the OpenGL and a CPU score of 2.58. Once again, the second score is more accurate because I don't have a video recorder running in the background. So next up is NovaBench. We're going to click start test and hit continue. So we got a score of 621 on Nova Bench. Without the screen recorder, I got a score of 668. So finally, we have Black Magic Disk Speed Test. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna measure the speed of our SSD. So for the write speed, we have around a 250 megabytes per second write speed. And more importantly, the read speed, that's probably more important than the write speed. We're getting around 450 megabytes per second, which is extremely fast if you actually compare it to some high-performance SSD such as a OCZ Vertex 3 you're getting pretty much the similar read speeds which is great on Apple's part so all in all the 2012 MacBook Air had some solid upgrades all across the board in performance from CPUs to SSDs to RAM so if you compare the performance of a 13 inch MacBook Air to the performance of a 13 inch MacBook Pro. The performance is pretty much the same. Yeah, the MacBook Pro has a slightly better processor and therefore a slightly better Geekbench score. But if you use a benchmark that factors in CPU speed, RAM, and SSD, such as NovaBench, the MacBook Air actually comes on top over the MacBook Pro in total performance. In fact, I've edited the last two videos, my unboxing and this benchmark video, on my MacBook Air using Final Cut Pro 10. 
So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful or you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I have a review of the MacBook Air coming out in a few days, and you don't want to miss that. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.